The other day I ran a poll on Twitter and LinkedIn about role-level security and how Power BI developers use it. The reason behind that question was a conversation I had with a group of friends where I told them that I like to use RLS to help users focus on what's critical to them rather than just limiting access to the data. So in today's video, I would like to share my two cents about role-level focus. It's going to be more of a talking head video rather than lots of screen recording and I'm not going to cover what is RLS. If you want to start there, check out these videos. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to help you master Power BI. If this is your first time around here, then make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Power BI tutorials. Hitting the like button wouldn't hurt either. I reckon in most companies nowadays, certain datasets are available to all users. Of course, I'm not talking about wage information or departmental expenditures, but let's say sales details or operational data. Raw data is available for those who are interested and willing to log into tools like SAP Business Objects or open predefined daily sales report. However, when it comes to business intelligence, these users might not be interested to see other departments or locations result. A perfect example would be a company based in the US having branches in every state. It is natural that branch leaders or sales supervisors would like to be able to compare their results to similar states, but I reckon in most cases or as part of their daily BI needs, they would rather focus on what's important to them, meaning their own state. Sure thing, report developers can add filters or slicers to allow users to slice and dice the data down to their responsibilities and save bookmarks, but some users would think about that as a technological overhead, especially if we are introducing a new BI tool such as Power BI to the organization. Prior to that, they might have received their Excel spreadsheet by an email pre-filtered for them. So what if we help them to focus? What if we use role-level security to help them filter out the details that they don't need on a daily basis? Well, for most users, that would be a game changer. They still need to learn how to use a new tool. However, we are not throwing them in at the deep end. Let's have a look at what it means in Power BI. Here is Bilingual Analytics report where we can track sales results. In my company, sales data is not a secret, and I would encourage everyone to use that. But I also want my colleagues not to lose sight of what is critical to them and provide tools to help them understand what's happening within their department. So I would apply a department level RLS to help with that. It allows them to immediately see their results and only focus on how to achieve their targets and how to lead their teams to grow faster. It doesn't mean that I cannot create a dedicated report for comparison between the departments. Let's say one where we can see how automotive performs against electronics. But the main objective for a sales tracker, at least within our company, would be to focus on departmental results. Also, that comparison report might only be available for managers as they are the ones who need to report their results to senior management. I hope it makes sense. The other reason why to implement RLS even if the data would be free to use for all is user acceptance or user training. I'm not even sure which one is the better phrase for this. Let me try to explain with two different scenarios. First, we are always going to have users who simply refuse to learn a new tool, use a new report. It is what it is. For those users, we might help with the transition from previous reporting tools to Power BI by introducing RLS. Please note that I'm not saying that this is a best practice. I would strongly encourage to help those users try to book one-on-one -on -one training sessions with them and give them more time to get better with the tool. But the reality is there will always be a handful of people who are just simply reluctant to change. The second example that falls into this category would be newcomers. Whether they are new to Power BI itself or to the company, helping them in the beginning to focus on what's important to them would mean a lot in adoption. Well, let me show you another example of this. Here you can see a standard sales report for the automotive department. As discussed previously, users who are part of this division would see all these details but product group would be limited to automotive products. 
But what happens when someone new joins the team with zero experience and prior knowledge about the department? Well, scanning through all the customers would be a bit much. They would have a difficult time adjusting to the new role. So what if we create a temporary RLS rule just for them? Something like this. A pre-filtered report like this would allow them to understand their customers first and then expand the view to the whole department. Once again, it will take a little time for them to ease into the new role and business intelligence should not hinder that process. I know it might be a bit different thinking as RLS itself covers security features, but try to think about it as a UI UX feature as well. It does a great job securing your data, but it can also mean better usage and therefore better data utilization within the company. My friends immediately started talking about options to utilize this thinking. But the main question is, what do you think? How many times do you implement RLS for security reasons? And how many times to help users focus on what's critical for their daily job? Let me and others know in the comment section below. I'm also keen to hear other examples that you have previously come across. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from today's video and you will be able to implement this for your report. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave or before you watch one from the above videos. Until the next one, see ya!